Fun Facts with Chuck E. Cheese. Do you like spicy foods? Well, no, not really. In fact, one time I had some spicy chilies and they turned my mouth into an active volcano filled with lava and fire-breathing dragons on the surface of the sun. <sighs> <laughs> I doubt all that is true, but I agree with you. In fact, most mice, like me, do not like spicy foods either. Well, tell us about it. There were these scientists out in Arizona that were studying dieting habits of certain wild animals. In one particular study, they focused on an area where some wild chili plants were growing. Wild chilies? <laughs> they sound ferocious. Is there such a thing as a wild chili tamer? <laughs> no. That means they live out in the desert without any help from human farmers. Oh, okay. The scientists watched as my desert mice cousins avoided eating the spicy chilies. Run, little desert mice! Run from the wild chilies of Arizona! Ah! But then, the scientists noticed that the birds seemed to like eating the chilies. So the birds liked eating them, and the mice did not. But why? This is when the scientists figured out that birds could not taste how hot and spicy chilies were. You see, there's this substance in chilies called capsaicin. Capsaicin is what interacts with the skin to give it that hot or burning sensation. Birds are not affected by it, but mammals like you and me are. Wait a second. These are just plants we're talking about. How could they possibly know to be spicy for mice and people and not spicy for birds? The researchers suggest that chili plants have evolved to produce capsaicin as a repellent for mammals, which will ensure their future survival. Birds travel further than mice, so it's likely they will spread the chili seeds to grow future chili plants in more places. Huh. I guess chilies like to travel. <laughs> I guess so. So spicy foods are for the birds. Get it? For the birds, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I get it. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>